Schofield Wild and Monday Motivation this morning. Just hanging out. We just barely got to work. Had a great weekend. We had a uh, company golf tournament, so that was awesome. So uh, Monday, Money Monday. Let's talk. All right, guys. And uh, tell you what, we all went to dinner Saturday, I believe, Saturday night. We, we met up with uh, Garrett, Luke, and Jade. And uh, Jade... No, wait, well, what were we talking about? Garrett's looking for a new job right now, and uh, that's a whole nother story. Um, a welder that I know personally, complete piece of shit now, but uh, left this kid stranded in the middle of freaking nowhere, kicked him right out of his truck, and left him. I mean, we're talking two hours from the closest anything, and uh, luckily... Some guys come, picked him up, took him to the shop, and then Luke come and got him, and and it was just, it's a freaking rodeo. But anyways, he was asking me, he says, man, how, how, how do I get the next job? Like, he's kind of in a panic a little bit, so we, so I got talking to him, and I said, man, you need to go talk to every welder you can find, everybody you can get a hold of, and, um, and he, and, uh, what was, it? I believe Jade, Jade's like, how how can you do that? Like that is not that's just not most people's personalities. How can you just go and talk to somebody, guys? It's not my personality either, and uh, it's it's really not. It's it's um like I I would rather not go put myself out there. You know what I mean? Nobody likes being rejected. Nobody likes um, getting told no. It, it sucks for everybody. But, guys, you have got to think of it as that person is my meal ticket. I am going to starve to death if I do not go talk to that person. I'm going to lose my house if I don't go talk to that person. Guys, you've got to find the money man. That's what I call them. Welders, if you're in the welding world and you're over here, welders are your money men. They're the ones that know where the money is. They know where the jobs are. They know who to get a hold of. They're the guys that you got to go get a hold of. So when you're sitting there, and believe me, you gotta get, you gotta make this phone call. And the more you do it, the better you get. But uh, you, you gotta make this phone call, and we all get the feeling. We're like, man, what am I gonna say to him? You get that freaking twisted gut feeling, you know. And uh, the way I got over it was, I said, this, this phone number is my door to money. This is my next meal. This is my next payment on my truck. I need to talk to this person. This guy has my money in his pocket or he knows where the money is, okay? Because I have a service to offer him. I, I can weld. Or uh, uh, like say you're a salesman, I can sell. I can, I'm a car salesman, I need a new job. I want something that pays better. You have got to make these phone calls. Because these people have your money. They know where the money is because you're going to offer them a service in exchange for money. So, the next time you guys are sitting there and you're sitting at a gas station and a welder drives up and you're like, man, I, I know i got to go talk to this guy because, I mean, who knows? Job's getting ready to end or whatever, you know. And you're like, no, I better not. Well, that night when you're sitting there eating your dinner, you better sit there and be like, holy cow. I just let my next meal slide away because I was too big a baby to go freaking talk to him. I was too scared of rejection, so I would rather starve to death or let my family starve to death or not make my truck payment so that I have a welding truck because I was too scared to get told no. What? Come on, guys. I mean, that's the way I look at talking to people. And and I tell you what, when I started, that was the that was how I had to do it. I was like, oh, I hated it. I hated getting on the phone. I hated being like, hey, uh, man, I'm just looking for a job. I was a scared little timid baby because I did not understand how important it was. You guys have got to look at talking to people like that is your next meal. You have to be hungry all the time. You sit there and you say, all right, unless I go talk to this person, I ain't eating today. Or my family ain't going to have a house because I can't make the payment on that thing. Get your mind right. Get in the game. 
push forward, you are going to go talk to this welder. And if he's a complete dick, whatever. I went and talked to him, so I deserve to eat that night. You know what I mean? You guys have got to look at things like you're about to starve to death. Because eventually, if you don't go talk to enough people, you will be starving to death. Look at people as if they know where your money is. As if they know where your meal is. Keep it in mind, you guys. Everybody be blessed. I love everybody on here. I'm trying to help you guys out. you got to push forward. You have got to talk to people. You have got to call. If you get that twisted gut feeling, get on the phone anyway. Because that's your next meal. That's where your money's at. Sitting in your house, twiddling your thumbs. Or sitting in class, twiddling your thumbs. After school or whatever. Is not going to get you paid. We are not professional college kids. We are not professional high school kids. We are professional welders. We're professional businessmen. We're professional salesmen. So get on the phone. Start calling people. And quit being a baby about it. Because they're the ones with your money. Okay? That's your next meal. Everybody be blessed. I love everybody on here. Email me, schofieldwelding at gmail.com. I want to hear from everybody. We'll see you later.